exponential equation. So the exponential equation is uh, 2 in an exponent with absolute value x plus 5 is equal with a 3 in absolute value of x. And now I'm LNizing both sides. We LNize both sides, then we're going to get ln 2 in exponent x plus 5 is equal with a ln 3 in exponent x with absolute value. According to the rules of the logs, we have an absolute value of x plus 5 ln 2 is equal to the absolute value of x ln 3. And when we are in this situation here with this equation, we have two cases. So let me write here a case 1 and here is case 2. So in the case 1, let me use a different color. In the case 1, we have a x plus 5. So let me write here x plus 5 ln 2 is equal with the x ln 3. And now I'm distributing a little ln 2 inside the parentheses. And we are going to have x ln 2 plus 5 ln 2 is equal with the x ln 3. If I am subtracting both sides with the x ln 3 and the 5 ln 2, or in other words, with a shortcut, 5 ln 2 I'm putting on the other side and x ln 3 on the other side, this equation is going to take this form, x ln 2 minus x ln 3 is equal with the minus 5 ln 2. If I'm uh, multiplying by minus 1 both sides, then we are going to have uh, x ln 3, so I'm taking a little bit shortcut, minus uh, x ln 2 is equal with the 5 ln 2. And now, uh, let me go a little bit up, so to have a little, uh, I need to have a little bit more space. So now I'm a factor in x here, and when I factor x is going to turn out, ln3 minus x is a time ln3 minus ln2 is equal to the 5 ln2. Then I'm going to divide by ln3 minus ln2, ln3 minus ln2, if I'm dividing, then finally x is going to be equal to the 5 ln2 divided by ln3 minus ln2. And if we want this to have as a numerical value in the decimal form, x is going to be equal with the 8.54755. So round it to the five decimal numbers. It continued with decimal numbers, but here I'm stopping with the five decimal numbers. Case 2. In the case 2, we have a x plus 5. ln 2 is equal to the minus x ln 3. And now, if I'm distributing the same thing like I did here in the first case, we're going to have a x ln 2 plus a 5 ln 2 is equal to the minus x ln 3. And now, if I'm going to add x ln 3 both sides and to subtract both sides with a 5 ln 2, or in other words, with a shortcut, I'm putting x ln 3 on the other side and 5 ln 2 in the right side. And this equation is going to take this form, x ln 2 plus x ln 3 is equal to the minus 5 ln 2. And now here, if I'm factoring x, it's going to be ln 2 plus ln 3 is equal to the minus 5 ln 2. And now, if we have ln2 plus ln3, we can, according to the properties of the logs, we can write a ln2 times 3 is equal to minus 5 ln2. And now 2 times 3 is a 6, so x is a time ln6 is equal to the minus 5 ln2. And if I'm dividing everything by ln6, so x is going to be equal to the minus 5 ln2 divided by ln6. And as a, as a numerical value, if we are plugging in a calculator, we get a value here is a minus 
to 6. And it continues as a more decimal numbers, but I'm stopping up to here. So uh, solving this equation yields those two results. So solving this equation here, it, it yields these two results here.